Roaring Kitty, the face of the GameStop movement, didn't always have a net worth of $39 million, and just a year and a half ago, he only had 60000 invested in GameStop stock. Back then, GameStop stock was worth a measly $4.5, vastly lower than the nearly 190 it is today. People thought Roaring Kitty was crazy because he invested in September of 2019, and GameStop stock had dropped 72% since January of that year. Today, with our hindsight of what transpired with a massive run-up of GameStop, we're going to take a look at the first doubters commenting on Roaring Kitty's posts and see what they had to say. To do this, let's take a look back through his first post on the Wall Street Bets subreddit on September 8th, 2019. The post was titled, Hey Burry, thanks a lot for jacking up my cost basis. This is in reference to the famous investor Michael Burry, known for the big short during the 2008 market crash, investing in GameStop and trying to help revive the company. This is a year before activist investor Ryan Cohen, former founder and CEO of Chewy, a successful online pet retailer, invested in the company. And GameStop, at this moment, was at one of its lowest prices ever. Roaring Kitty showed in the first post that he had purchased $1,008 call options that would expire January 15th, 2021. In his first post, it shows that he invested roughly $63,000, and thanks to recent news at the time, GameStop had risen his position up 86% for $46,000 in net gain. He also had a $13,000 amount in cash, which brings his position to $113,000. The first commenter referenced the bid-ask spread of these options. Traditionally, when the bid-ask spread is very large, it means the option is very hard to sell for a reasonable price, insinuating that he thought that DFE's investment was risky, since it would be hard to get out quick if he needed to. Another commenter replied saying he should sell now. 85% of Wall Street thinks they're going to miss earnings, and so does the earnings whisperers. Either way, they're going to be negative earnings for the first time, and that ship is sinking, meaning he thinks GameStop is going into the dirt. Roaring Kitty, otherwise known as DFV on the Wall Street Bets subreddit, responded, wow, thanks for the advice. You'll see his confidence continue in future responses. The original first commenter responded, you almost doubled your money. No one ever went broke selling doing that, insinuating that he should sell and that he doubts that Michael Burry can bring the stock around. For most investors, at least selling your initial investment would probably be a good idea in the scenario. But for someone who has done as much research and is as confident as Roaring Kitty, this isn't the case. DFE confidently responds, perhaps that's not how you maximize returns over the long term. To which the original commenter responds, affirming that he thinks he should sell at least half. To which DFV responds with perhaps one of my most favorite comments in hindsight, saying, I keep the full position and earn a lot more money in the long term. Which the other guy responds, or you can lose 50k. You people are degenerates. And in a future comment says pigs get slaughtered. Another commenter added in the odds are against him, saying he's up far less than he thinks he is, which DFE responds, you're putting in thought I haven't taken any victory laps. In fact, I haven't made any comment with regard to how much I'm currently up. Another commenter says confidently, haha, remind me of the stupid guy who lost it all in one week. And DFE responds, how could I lose it all in a week if the call expires in 16 months? And he responds, oh right, I forgot. Bad companies that are barely clinging to life always come roaring back from terrible earnings. Remind me in 15 months and 29 days to confirm this idiot lost all. And we all know how this one ends. DFE not only makes money, but he receives a gain of over 8,000% at his peak of $48 million in late January. This post right here, you bet if a movie is made about him, it'll be in it. Here's another video you might like and consider subscribing for more.